All right, everybody, it's the first go. shot of the first short of the Short Film Festival. Take one. If it fits. We had our first day of production on Dump It this past Tuesday. It's actually the final scene of the short where John is in a restaurant with two friends. Special thank you to Used To Be's in Maniloking, New Jersey for letting us film there. Go check them out, links in the description. We got through just under four pages in about six hours and considering we were working with three puppets and had not one second of rehearsal beforehand, I think we killed it. We got some really nice images and some really nice moments and this video was originally going to be about how you can get really nice images without a lot of fancy gear or expensive lighting equipment, blah, blah, blah. But it was really hectic and I didn't get any behind the scenes. So instead I wanted to talk a little bit about this production of Dup It in general and how us choosing this as our first short could be the best decision we have ever made or the absolute worst. Allow me to explain. This is a huge production. John already had a pretty completed script, so we had a little bit of a head start, but I think that he undersold the difficulty just a little bit when he pitched it to us. I knew that dealing with a puppet would be a challenge that I'd never dealt with before, but dealing with two puppets, two puppeteers, and two actors in a single shot. <laughs> and then there's locations and actors. We have three locations that take place in a single house, kitchen, living room, bedroom, Great. But then we also have restaurant, park, coffee shop, comedy club exterior, and therapist office. Nine locations is a lot of locations. On top of that, add in that multiple characters appear in multiple locations. The two friends need to be at the restaurant and the exterior of the comedy club, while the woman needs to be at the coffee shop, the park, and the house. We're able to shoot the park and the house on the same day, but the restaurant had to be done on a separate day, and the comedy club had to be on a separate day. So far, and I think everyone would agree with me, this has been a masterclass in scheduling. So we are six people who are working together for essentially the first time on this behemoth of a short with, might I add, very tight deadlines. Those are the challenges and those are the reasons why this might have been a terrible idea. But we're doing it and we're doing a pretty good job doing it. We're figuring out solutions to the challenges as we go and so far we're getting it done. One of our actors has a conflict on the night that we have to shoot the comedy club exterior. We make the exterior of the restaurant work as the exterior of the comedy club. Filmmaking is problem solving and so far I would give us a solid B. Plus. And if we can make it through this process and get through this daunting epic short that we've taken on and not just get through it but produce something that we are really proud of, then I think that choosing such a difficult short as our first one was absolutely the best decision we could have made because it will only make the next 11 be that much easier. Each of which I'm sure will present their own set of impossible tasks to accomplish. And that's it for this week. I have a ton of editing to do. We have another very long day of shooting on Sunday, and then we have two final scenes to shoot on the 26th. I've already started cutting, so it should, 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 should give me just enough time to have a final export done by September 29th because you will be seeing a premiere of Dup It on September 30th. And again, I just want to give a special thank you, thank you to Used To Be's for allowing us to film there, and to Kevin Israel and Chelsea Lynn for coming and helping us out as our wonderful actors. Links to some of their stuff in the description. Check them out. Make sure to like and share this video. Let me know in the comments if you think we made a terrible decision. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel and turn on alerts so you can follow along with the entirety of the short film project. Make sure to check out our podcast, The Complete Unknown. Subscribe to it on Apple Podcasts. And I will see you next week.